Hi. First we need to set up the settings to enable you to use the commands in the next video. First I want you to go up to the drag and bar, then I want you to go over to the tools option. Click to open and I want you to just scroll right down to the bottom to options and left click. The options I want you to change here, first go to miscellaneous. You see I've ticked to have the microphone on sleep so every time Dragon starts the microphone will be in sleep mode all you have to do then is say wake up. Also check automatically save profile changes so every time you close it will automatically save the changes and not prompt you to do it. Choose your accuracy level, you can leave that in the middle or move it to most accurate, play around with that to see what's best. I've actually unticked use dictation box but I can open up that using the command anyway it tends to pop up when I don't want it to so I just enable the command for that by saying it. Then go to commands and I want you to untick the fifth and sixth option down. The fifth option require click to select menus and the sixth option down require click to select buttons and other controls. Then click apply. This will now enable you to do command dragon in the next video. Welcome to Dragon Nasty Speaking 13 video tutorial. To go over the basics, do a quick review and see how good the software is to previous versions of 12.5, 12 and 11.5. The first thing you'll notice is the actual look of Dragon Nasty Speaking 13 has changed. The learning center on the right has changed. Also, the Dragon Bar at the top has changed. Now, if you prefer the older version, classic version, click Dragon Bar and then select Classic Dragon Bar and then that will come up docked at the top so that give you a continuity if you prefer the older look but to be honest with you try and use a new look new dragon bar because I think it's much better and you can maneuver it better for example I might want to put it over there or gives you more space okay now on the right here we have the learning center you've got navigating editing you can scroll down and select for commands also you have the tutorial, to open up the video tutorial and also Dragon on the web so you can get more information. But I want to test how good it is compared to previous versions so let's make a start. The first thing I need to do is turn the mic on. Now as you see it's in blue mode which indicates it's asleep. So I could hover over that and just say wake up and it will wake up. Or you can use a command here listen to me. Depends what you prefer to use. I prefer to use wake up and go to sleep. So let's try it out. By the way you have to make sure you are actually clicked into the actual application you're going to use it in. Let me show you. If I click here the cursor's in Word so I can say wake up and start dictating. But if I'm not in Word it won't do it so you need to switch to Word. Watch. Wake up. Switch to Microsoft Word. More than five months elapsed before England's next match. Full stop. Their 3-1 win over East Germany at Wembley in November 1970 brought a debut in goal for Peter Shilton, comma, go to sleep. So I need to check that back. Now I can read from the book to check it back. Or we can have your voice check it back reading it. Or we can have a computer read it back. Let me show you what I mean. Let's have, let's hear my voice reading it back first to see if there's any errors. Now bear in mind when your voice is reading it back it's only actually going to read back what you obviously dictated it's not going to read back what's on the Word document so if there's an error you're not going to hear that error but you can still follow the text as you go along. Let me show you what I mean. Wake up. Go to beginning. Playback. More than five months elapsed before England's next match. Full stop. Their 3-1 win over East Germany at Wembley in November 1970 brought a debut in goal for Peter Shilton, comma, go to sleep. I caught a few errors there. The 3-1 win is the wrong format. Also, it's missing the word at. And also, it should be 1970, not 1974. So now, I could delete them. I could just say delete the word and replace it with the word I want. But you're not training dragon. It's worth spending time training it quickly because it'll be better in the long run. But I'm going to read back using the computer's voice so we can read back what's actually on the document this time. So we say wake up, select all, read that. 
More than five months elapsed before England's next match, the 3 1 win over East Germany Wembley in November 1974, a debuting goal for Peter Shilton. Go to sleep. So let's start correcting the errors. Wake up. Unselect that. Insert after East Germany. At Correct 1974. Spell that. Numeral 1, 9, 7, 0. Choose 1. Correct 3 1 win. As you can see from the list, it hasn't the format I want. I actually want 3 number 3 hyphen 1. You can see it's got 3 1 win. 3 1 win in spelling terms and all caps higher case so in this case I'm not likely to use 3 one win over and over again am I so I might as well just put that in manually let me show you turn the mic on turn the mic on by pressing the plus button or clicking on it select 3 one win numeral 3 hyphen 1 go to end go to sleep and there you go it's corrected let me create an error for to show you what I mean so let's just say a debuting goal for Peter Shilton goal it might have actually dictated mole instead of goal wake up select goal mole go to sleep so I need to correct that to goal. So this is how you correct it properly. Wake up. Correct mole. Spell that. G O A L. Choose one. Go to end. Go to sleep. As you can see when I say correct it gives you a list of possible words that I was trying to put in there, dictate. You could say choose the corresponding word that's correct but it wasn't in the list. It's not in the list you say spell that and either type it out or say each letter of the word that you require. What happens if Dragon has made the error but you've made the error? For example you might have dictated the 3-1 win over East Germany at Wembley in November 1970 but you actually meant December 1970. We don't want to use the correct option because it's not Dragon that made the mistake, it's you that made the mistake. You could go back and delete it, but it's a quicker way. Wake up. Select November. December. Go to end. Go to sleep. I actually recommend correcting more than one word in a sense. I'll show you what I mean. Let's have a look at elapsed before England. So you dictated and it said elapsed for England. So we don't want that, we want elapsed before England. I'll show you what I mean. If you correct more than one word and the words around it, then it kind of differentiates between how you use that word in a sentence and it corrects it better. For example, I'm going to change before just to for. Wake up. Select before. For. Go to sleep. Now we know it should say elapsed before England. But I've changed it to 4 which is incorrect. Now I could just say correct 4 and change it with the correction option to be 4. But it's better to correct some of the words around it as well because that will make the dictation later one more accurate. show you what I mean. Wake up. Correct elapse for England. Spell that. Go to end. choose one. Go to sleep. And there you go. That will make it learn quicker than just correcting one word at a time. Say you only want to read back sections of what you've dictated, not the whole document. Now with the read that command, which is the computer reading back, you can just select parts of what you want read back. Show you what I mean. Wake up. Select Wembley to Shilton. Read that. Wembley in December 1970, a debuting goal for Peter Shilton. Unselect that. 
go to sleep. So you can read just sections of what you need to read. Now will that work with your own voice reading back? Shall we try that out? Wake up. Insert after match. Playback. Dot. Def numeral three hyphen one. For East Germany at Wem at Lee in no December nineteen seventy. Bought a debut in goal hole for Peter Shilton, comma. Go to sleep. And as you can see, you've got full control over what you're doing and having read back. So let's try some formatting options, see if they're any better. Wake up. Bold five months. Bold debuting goal. Underline East Germany. Underline more. Capitalise before. Select December. All caps that. Italicise Peter Shilton. Select all. Unselect that. Select elapsed to match. Make that 16. Make that red. Bold. Underline. Unselect that. Go to end. New line. New paragraph. Delete Wembley in December. Delete five months. Select more to over. Make that aerial. Unselect that. Undo that. Go to end. Select more to east. Copy that. Go to end. Paste here. New line. Delete last line. Set font to Arial. Set font size to 20. Testing my new fonts. New line. Set font size to 12. Testing my new font size. New line. Select last line. Center. Capitalize that. A line left. New paragraph. Insert table. Numeral 6. Tab. Numeral 6. OK. Type down. Tab. Tab. Type down. Go to end. Insert. Pictures. Cancel. Online pictures. Dogs. Press enter. Type down. Scroll down. Scroll up. Page down. Page up. Go down four. Go right three. Go right one. Insert. Unselect that. Page up. Page up. Go to sleep. Quite responsive. Let's try a few more. Wake up. Select all. Delete that. Scroll up. Page up. Bullets. These are my bullet points. New line. Numbering. 
I could choose to do numbering instead. New line. Increased indent. Increase indent. Decrease indent. New line. Line and paragraph spacing. 2.0. New line, decrease indent, numbering, references, open quote, this is a made up reference from a book, close quote, insert citation, add new source, Go down one. Go down two. Go up two. Press enter. Tab. Edit. Archer. Tab. Stephen. Add. OK. Tab. Tab. The pros and cons. Capitalise the pros and cons. Tab. 1972. Tab. London. Tab. Tate Foundation. Tab. Numeral 3. Switch to spelling mode. RD. Switch to normal mode. OK. New line. Bibliography. References. Go to sleep. In the next tutorial I'll be looking at commands, personalising your vocabulary and adding words, and words that sound phonetically the same and how to differentiate between them. Thanks for watching.